What I was going to try to show is um, the difference, finally, George, the difference between uh, single mode fiber and multi mode fiber. I tried to explain that a little bit. Here is kind of an example of light traveling through a multi mode fiber. And let's see if we can see this without with all the lights on. So, what I have here is just an acrylic rod. It's got nice, smooth, polished ends on it. So, it's like, like a big chunk of fiber, really big chunk of fiber. And if I shine a laser through it, the single mode fiber, you're pretty much the, the fiber is so thin that the light can pretty much bounce just down the, the middle, kind of like it is here. With multi mode fiber, with a single mode fiber, if I start to turn off an angle like this, then the light's not going to be able to bounce down it anymore. It's just not going to be able to enter the fiber even. With multi mode, which this rod is kind of um, approximating, you can see how it starts bouncing off the walls down the fiber. And you get different modes because you can the light enters at different angles, and only certain of those angles will actually propagate. So kind of like your guitar strings have um, different vibrating modes. You got a fundamental mode and then a second harmonic, third harmonic. You have similar modes with the laser. Um, the the fiber forms kind of a resonating cavity, and so certain modes will bounce down. Certain modes will be attenuated. And the reason that we don't want that is because for a fiber optic gyroscope, we're trying to um, you know, use the difference of phase of two different propagating beams, and we're looking for that interference between them. And we want nice uh, a nice single clean mode. Um, we want a pure sine wave. A, kind of a equivalent. pure sine wave, right. And so what you get out of, uh, find a pin here. So if you look at the end of the laser or end of the fiber, and you look at the power distribution across the end there, um, you'll see kind of a Gaussian distribution for a single mode. And that's kind of what we want. For multi-mode, you get something that might look something like, like that. Actually, if you look, th this is, um, if you look at the actual end of the fiber, what you'll see is a spot for a single mode. And then for multi-mode, you'll see maybe a ring kind of around the outside. Not